use the change of base formula to rewrite the logarithm with the common logarithm or the natural logarithm. Then use the calculator to evaluate it, rounding your answer to four decimal places. Okay, so the change of base formula, what that looks like is this. So if we have a logarithm of some base of a value, we can change that into any other logarithm uh, with a different base, and we can choose whatever we want. We could say it's a log of some new base of the original value divided by a log of the new base of the original base. And most commonly, we switch these into a common logarithm or a natural logarithm, which would be base 10 or base e, simply because that makes the calculator able to help us determine the value. So I tend to prefer natural logarithm for no particular reasons. So we can really say this is as simple as the natural logarithm of the argument divided by the natural logarithm of the base. So log base 3 of 23 would look like the natural log of 23 divided by the natural log of 3. The calculator can now evaluate this because not all calculators actually can do a base, uh, any other bases besides base 10 or base e. Um, but we can do this now because it can do base e. So that's the natural log of 23. Then make sure you close that parentheses before you hit divide. Uh, and then that's divided by the natural log of 3. So 2.8540. And that rounds it to four decimal places.